Hello again. Uh, sorry for being so rudely interrupted at such an ungodly hour too. Anyway, so what I did is I made the grid a little bit bigger and actually gave it dimension so it's 10, 100 by 100 so that, uh, you know, it, it makes sense for us now. So uh, I didn't even change the letters there, but I showed you how to do that. So you can go back and do that if you need. Um, so we're going to create a simple structure here. And we're going to, there's two ways I know to make beams. So we're just going to use that button. So on the home tab, you can actually select what kind of uh, beam you want. In this case, we just want the uh, regular uh, W beam. So we pick the point, say our first column will be there. And we'll give it a height of uh, eight. Mm, no, 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 no. We'll give it a height of 100. Okay, and then this pops up. So now when this pops up, you have the ability to change uh, the the section that you're adding here so you've got all kinds of options you can change to an angle C right now on I channels and uh, you can change the uh, the type of uh, W beam that you want in this case we'll use 1033 and uh, that's where you can manipulate that and then you go to positioning now on positioning tab uh there's there's options to move the beam according to where you originally snapped it on so i'll give you an example here actually i'll zoom this in first so you can see what happens and i'll double click that always double click things to bring up the properties menu so we go to positioning and i snapped it on the corner of the grid there so say I want my beam to sit there. So you see it moves over the outside. If you want it on the inside, uh, in this way, that way. So it's basically positioning your beam in with reference to where you first originally snapped it. Okay, so we are going to keep it in the middle. And there's also you can rotate uh, the beam 90 degrees and whatever you need to. Then we go on the naming. Now, uh, you go down here and you change that to column. And uh, single part prefix, we're going to change that to C. Okay. Because uh, when you when then when you're naming the beams, you have uh, the C one preceding the name of the beam and whatnot. If you're a structure guy, you know these things. So then uh, let's see what else do we need to change here. Uh, that's all you need to change really. But there's other. Uh, properties that you can change as you can see here I flip through but I haven't been able to use any of these other ones um, so if anyone's got some more information on that please don't hesitate let me know <coughs> and uh, there we have our first column uh, so we're going to add another um, say four columns in each four corners so we can just uh, copy that and we have this uh, copy th th this uh, modifying tools under modify there and this copy you know the basic commands move what not array uh, just like uh, in the previous autocads uh, so we click that, select the object you want to copy, and then we snap center point, and we snap it there. Okay, now there's also 
what there is uh, it's called advanced copy now if you go on the tools section you find it here and that's the one there and what this does is basically it copies it copies it and you have the option to either mirror your results or